morning. It's cold. Hi. Hi. <laughs> How are you doing? Good, good. How are you? <laughs> I'm fine, very fine. Very good. Last night I was at the bar. I met some really cool people. And we were talking about what, what uh, I'd like to see while I'm here. And one of the things I'd like to see is some things related to the port. And he said, uh, if you want to see something uh, fish related, get up early and watch them unload, unload the fish. So that's what we're going to go do this morning. I just need a coffee. That's the only thing I need. <laughs> the fish we're going to see is called Sauri, S-A-U-R-Y. They fill up that ice box at the one area and then they move to the next area and they fill up the next ice box. It's a good way to kind of keep track of where they've been and what fish they've caught at different areas. Maybe if they have a really good box, they stay there a while, fill up a few boxes. Okay. Two days ago. They cut the. Six tons. Okay. And then this side is what? Yesterday. Yesterday, yes. Yesterday was a better day. 68. 68. 68. 68. 68. So they only got six tons yeah. one day, and then they got 68 yeah. tons the next day. So this ship was at sea for three days. So they were gone for three days, but two days they're fishing. Yeah. Two days. One day they go and come back, and then the two days they're actually fishing. So this is what's caught on one day, and then this was caught on a light day. So the fish are off the boat. They've been weighed, checked, sort of categorized by uh, quality. And now the auction begins. It's not really loud and crazy. You submit a ticket for the price and the quantity that you want to the main control room, which is right here. And then the control room divvies out what fish go to what what bid, basically. Yeah, yellowtail. Ooh, that one's still alive. Poor guy. Go to sleep, my friend, forever. So the ringing sound is, is when the bidding starts. It just finished. Yesterday I had that fish bowl uh, at the restaurant. Owner of that company, I met him yesterday. It's kind of funny, I was talking about the fish bowl that I ate, actually not knowing that he was the guy that owns the restaurant. And I was just told that he had just bought like eight of these entire tubs. See, they don't sell fish here by the pound or by the weight, they sell it by the container. If you come here, you gotta come here to play. You gotta come here to buy a considerable amount of fish. All right, so that's how things are done at the Fisherman's Wharf here at Anagawa. Now we're gonna eat some of the fish. You think they have coffee? Yeah. Maybe not. <laughs> okay, so the fish we just pulled out of the, the sea, we're gonna have in the form of sashimi. Kind of an interesting little tidbit. Uh, the catch has been really low. As a matter of fact, they're only catching 30% of what they should be catching. The ocean is plentiful, but everything has limits. Thank you. 
I met your brothers and sisters. <laughs> sama sashimi, this is grilled sama, and you have like sauteed sama. Hey, kabayaki. Kabayaki. Let's eat. <laughs> Hey guys, I still am here. I haven't left. You saw me riding away, but I'm, I'm still here. I bumped into a really cool group of people and they have a company, it's called Kizuna Friends. Mm -hmm. We've been here in Japan for 18 years well, total, mm -hmm. but we've been in this area for the last six years since the tsunami, doing tsunami relief. They have a really unique method for um, helping to create a business idea that they can pass off mm -hmm. to the community so right now is the building phase and what they do is they take kimonos mm -hmm. which are uh, kimonos are like japanese dress but a very formal dress mm -hmm. and it's sort of like in america you'd have a, a wedding dress that would sit in your closet after your wedding and you'd look at it every so often and say are we ever going to wear that again it's never going <laughs> to never going to happen so the kimonos are, have a similar story and people feel i'm guessing some sort of not guilt but they don't want to throw it away. They don't want to throw it away. It's just a waste. It's, it's a waste of a beautiful piece of material mm -hmm. that has, has symbolic meaning to them. But they donate it uh, to this organization and then it gets remade, recycled into all sorts of different items. Blankets to bags. Tote bags, scarves. And these are the buttons on the kimono? No, these are actually the bases we buy, but the inside is actually kimono fabric. Oh, okay. So all okay. of the accessories, the inside is actually kimono fabric. Okay. That we have earrings and necklaces, and then this is like shawl? a shawl that yeah. we make from wow, that's beautiful. fabric. And, and every one is different because yeah, all your is, material is... Each one is original, one of a kind. Wow. So, hair bands and belts. We even have neckties for men. Oh. We have some purses as well that we have. Can you make me a flag that can I can I can yeah. fly on my on my trike? Where can they find you? They can find us at megumiproject.net. I'll put a link in the description for this video. Um, Megumi. Uh, it's very very cool, and they're interested in doing some distribution in the states. So if uh, if any of you out there are looking for a crafty business, uh, maybe you can help them distribute their uh, meaningful wares. Jayo. That's one way to empty out a semi. Just, just dump it out like you're emptying a bag of chips. I am in a uh, very industrial area. A lot of uh, paper plants. Looks like a lot of paper. A lot of piles of wood chips and logs and things. And a ton of big trucks. I'm not disappointed when I ride through industrial areas like this. Especially when I get a good mix. Forests and rural areas then you have urban areas you got cities and towns and villages but a lot of times areas like this the commercial districts the heavy commercial i mean these are big big industries paper and metal and coal and all these kind of heavy machinery businesses they're what uh push a society further you know they're what provide the fuel for the gears of uh Japan to work, you know? So it's interesting to look and see, you know, what's going on here and the hustle bustle and the big trucks and also to look at uh, the environmental impact. I've been through many factory districts <laughs> in China and the USA, all over the world really. I gotta give Japan a, so far, a pretty big thumbs up. It could be a lot more polluted. I don't feel like I'm choking on the air here in any way. 
Shut it off. But it looks like there's a lot going on. Gotta give kudos when it's due. All right, guys, fast forward to Sendai. We've arrived. Lots of places to eat, lots of things to do. But my objective is to get to the hotel, pay for a few days, and then just do my edit thing. Just wanted to tell you that we have arrived in Sendai. All right, guys, I am in Sendai. The biggest city I've been in so far, I think. Pretty easy to say that. Next is Tokyo, really. The next big city is gonna be Tokyo. Which is one of the reasons I wanna stop here for a little while, prep myself for what is going to be the biggest city in Japan coming up pretty soon. I have made some contact with a fellow YouTuber. His name is Giovanni. I saw uh, his channel and I reached out to him and he's in Sendai. And I said, hey, would you like to meet up? And he said, okay. So I'm meeting him, we're gonna chit chat. And if he's up for it, on Sunday, we can do a uh, vlogger one-on-one -on -one and uh, maybe collaborate on a, on a video project. It should be pretty cool. Today has been a packed day. Lots going on. Hello. Oh, uh, <laughs> 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 Let me try. Small? <laughs> do you do it? No, no, we start, okay. So you gotta have Japanese fingers for that to work properly. <laughs> so what is your favorite sushi? Uh, tuna. Tuna. It's good. It's good. Yeah, well, uh, <laughs> I'll end up with plates this tall, you know? Yeah. So many plates. Did you see the picture of the seafood bowl I had there? <laughs> Incredible, right? So, uh, we finished eating, it was a good dinner. We, we, we ate a lot, we have stacks and stacks of plates, but uh, I'm, I am so white. I got up at 5.30 this morning. So, we're gonna talk more to Giovanni on Sunday. Sunday we yeah. Right? And we'll do a vlogger one-on-one, -on -one. maybe we'll do a collab. Maybe you can show me somewhere nice in Sunday. Yeah, just okay, show some place interesting here. For now, I'm, I'm white, I'm gonna go back to the hotel, so uh, let's give it to Jayo. Jayo. Say Jayo. Jayo? Jayo. Jayo. Take it easy, guys.